is a flag for us since our last meeting was this problem of impending We have to agree to defer donors who have spent six months or more in England between 1980 and 1996 uh, until we have a better understanding of how new variant CJD is spread. We're concerned about new variant um, Crossfelt Jacobs disease, CJD. As you know, uh, this new variant CJD, which uh, appeared in England uh, uh, around 1995, uh, is a form of, of CJD that attacks younger people. We believe the evidence uh, strongly suggests that it was acquired uh, from eating meat, so it, so it spread from animal species to humans. And therefore, we think there is a theoretical risk that anybody who spent time in England uh, could, in fact, uh, be, be subject to new variant CJD. There have been 43 cases. Algorithm that says we can increase the blood supply by 100, uh, a very accurate curve of where, the, and the slope of the curve of where re repeat donors cross into single donors. There's a basic disagreement about which way to turn. On the one hand, safety takes priority in our decision to defer. In the uh, German situation, they're still not convinced that the risk is real enough and they're trying to retain the supply of blood that's available to people. You're kind of caught on the horns of a tough dilemma. If you err on the side of safety, you lose donors and the supply problem is real. There isn't enough blood at all times to give it to everyone who needs it. If you err on the side of not deferring these donors, then there's a risk that a disease we don't understand very well, new variant CJD or mad cow disease, could explode into the blood supply. Uh, William Blevins has committed funds to begin. It's a tiny risk, but with huge consequences. If you guess wrong, you could really spread a very lethal and nasty disease into the blood supply. My own feeling is the chance of doing that is very, very, very remote. This looks like a disease that isn't transmitted by blood transfusion. I think we're going to get the answer to whether it is possible at all to transmit this disease by blood transfusion over the next year or two.